culture, it changed my attitude towards what was possible. And I think I learned to go against the system a little bit. Punk proved to people, and it is now ingrained in people, that what they thought was impossible is not impossible. You didn't have to wait to start doing something. If you wanted to do it, you could try doing it. Punk rock gave me a platform to put a band together and do it my way. And that was good for an 18-year-old kid. Kids are still wanting the same thing as, as they wanted back then, something to express what they're feeling. They get all this information from MTV and VH1, and that's their history of rock, and, and they find out that, like, well, it's like everything else. It's like school. You're not really getting the full story. They were introduced to it as a package. They, you know, the, 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 uh, the business turned it into a c commodity, if you will. There's a lot of manufactured anger nowadays, if you ask me. When you can make a dollar off it, it gets uploaded into the cultural lexicon. The slang becomes your normal patois of the day. You know, grunge becomes, you know, mom knows grunge now. As soon as mom knows how to say grunge, gotta go. Back then, it, it was very much considered an anti-establishment, and, um, and it seems like today, most of the bands that do form are want to be part of the establishment. What they pay you for now is being stupid and making people stupider. It's easy for a young person to say, fuck you. I'm 43, I'm still saying fuck you. I'm still like pissed at something. You know, whatever you got, I'm mad at it. Where's the political awakening? At this point in on the planet, it seems like 80% of the people are fucking asleep, you know? Don't ask me why the cataclysmic state of the environment hasn't uh, galvanized and you know, mobilized people into doing something. The more severe uh, the political landscape becomes, the more repressive, the more valuable that the imagination becomes. It's possible that music is not really the expression of it now as, as far as uh, relating to world, what's happening in the world. People doing, it's people doing visual arts, people doing literature, it's people doing film. You know, Michael Moore making that, that movie against Bush is, is really punk. Punk definitely had a major influence in the eruption of militant anti-corporate activism that first came to light over here in the Seattle protest. The, the actual whole internet is a very punk idea. Because of the internet, the record companies are losing their power to be kingmakers. You can go make your own records, you can go put them out yourself, you can build your own little websites, you can do all these things by yourself. Fuck you to corporations. Fuck you to branding everything and fuck you to corporations having dictatorial control over society and governments. Being able to look people in the eye and say, fuck you, I don't care what you think. I'm doing what I want to do. Um, to have that to hold on to is really important to move forwards. And that's the, that's the whole idea, is, it's to take the spirit and, and the inspiration and, and, and do your own thing with it. All you need is one guy or girl to stand up and say, fuck this. And everyone goes, voice of a generation, thank you. I've been thinking that. I never had the guts to stand up and say it. You only need 5% you know, or less to like embrace ideas and change it. You know, change the way people think all over again. It becomes a lineage. These people find each other and this timeline grows. Mm -hmm.